Welcome to a journey into the fascinating world of paradoxes. Paradoxes, those intriguing concepts that twist our minds and challenge our understanding of logic and reality. In this exploration, we'll dive into 45 of the weirdest paradoxes, from the paradox of the wise fool to the paradox of the bald man. These conundrums will tickle your brain cells and leave you pondering. So buckle up and get ready for a brain-twisting adventure. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. The Starting with the first paradox, the paradox of the wise fool. This is a fascinating concept that suggests the wisest person is the one who acknowledges their own ignorance. It's a paradox because it challenges our conventional understanding of wisdom and foolishness. Wisdom is typically associated with knowledge, but in this paradox, the fool who admits he knows nothing is deemed wiser than those who claim to know it all. Next up is the liar paradox, a mind-bending conundrum that has puzzled thinkers for centuries. It's a simple statement. This sentence is false. If the sentence is true, then it must be false as it claims. But if it's false, then it's actually true. This paradox leaves us in a loop that seems impossible to resolve. Moving on to the barber paradox which was introduced by the logician Bertrand Russell. It's about a barber who shaves everyone in town who does not shave themselves. The paradox arises when we ask, who shaves the barber? If he shaves himself, he doesn't fit his own rule of shaving only those who don't shave themselves. But if he doesn't, then according to his rule he should. Our fourth paradox is the grandfather paradox, a classic time travel conundrum. Imagine you have a time machine and you travel back to a time before your grandfather met your grandmother. What happens if you prevent them from meeting? Would you cease to exist? But if you cease to exist, then who went back in time to prevent them from meeting? Finally, we have the ship of Theseus. It's a thought experiment that asks, if you replace every single part of a ship over time, is it still the same ship? And if you collect all the replaced parts and assemble them into a ship, which one is the original? Five paradoxes down, 40 more to go. These paradoxes challenge our understanding of concepts like truth, identity, time, and wisdom. They're fascinating puzzles that can leave us pondering for hours. But remember, the goal isn't to find a solution, but to explore the complexities and contradictions of our world and our thinking. Moving on to the next set of paradoxes, starting with the bootstrap paradox. This paradox is a classic in time travel stories. Imagine you invent a time machine, travel back in time, and teach your younger self how to build the time machine. So, who actually invented the time machine? It's a loop without a clear origin, hence the paradox. Next we have the omnipotence paradox. This philosophical conundrum ponders on whether an all-powerful being could create a task that it could not complete. For instance, could such a being create a rock so heavy that it could not lift it? If it can't create the rock, then it's not all-powerful, but if it can't lift the rock, it's also not all-powerful. Quite the divine dilemma, wouldn't you say? Our third paradox is the unexpected hanging paradox. Imagine a judge tells a prisoner he'll be hanged on a weekday, but it will be a surprise. The prisoner concludes it can't be Friday, because if he's not hanged by Thursday, it won't be a surprise. By similar logic, it can't be Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, or Monday. So, when the hangman comes on Wednesday, it's a surprise. A grim but thought-provoking paradox indeed. Next up, Catch-22 is a rule used by military authorities to prevent soldiers from avoiding combat duty. The rule states that a soldier is considered insane if they willingly continue to fly dangerous combat missions, but if they make a formal request to be removed from duty due to insanity, they are considered sane enough to understand the risks of flying and therefore cannot be relieved from duty. Lastly, we dive into the dichotomy paradox. This paradox argues that motion is impossible because, in order to reach a destination, you must first reach halfway there, and before reaching halfway, you must reach the halfway point of that, and so on, ad infinitum. Therefore, there are an infinite number of halfway points to traverse which Zeno argued could never be completed, suggesting that motion is an illusion. That's 10 paradoxes in total. Feeling puzzled yet? Let's dive into the next group of paradoxes, starting with the two envelopes paradox. Imagine you're given two envelopes, each containing an unknown amount of money. One envelope has twice as much as the other. You pick one, but before you open it, you're offered the chance to switch. Should you switch? The two envelopes. Paradox has you thinking that you should always switch, but that would imply that the second envelope is always better, which is a paradox. Next up, we have the paradox of tolerance. This paradox, proposed by philosopher Karl Popper, questions if a tolerant society should tolerate intolerance. If it does, the intolerant could destroy the tolerant society, 
and if it doesn't, it contradicts its own principle of tolerance. It's a real head-scratcher, isn't it? Now let's look at the Monty Hall problem. You're on a game show, three doors in front of you. Behind one is a car, behind the other two, goats. You pick a door, say door number one. The host who knows what's behind each door, opens another door, say door number three, revealing a goat. He then asks if you want to switch your choice to door number two. Should you switch or stick to your original choice? Mathematically you should always switch but it's counterintuitive to our brains. Then we have the paradox of simplicity. It's the idea that the simplest theory is the best, but what if the simplest theory is too simple to account for all the facts? This paradox challenges our understanding of simplicity and complexity in scientific theories. Finally, we have the crocodile paradox. A crocodile snatches a child and promises the father that he will return the child only if the father can correctly predict what the crocodile will do next. If the father predicts that the crocodile will not return the child, what should the crocodile do? This paradox is a classic example of self-referential situations. 15 paradoxes done! How are we doing so far? Next up, the paradox of choice. This paradox suggests that more choices can lead to less satisfaction. While it seems counterintuitive, having too many options can be overwhelming, leading to decision paralysis and regret over unchosen options. So it turns out, more is not always merrier. On to the second one, the friendship paradox. This interesting paradox states that your friends, on average, have more friends than you do. Sounds impossible? Well, this is due to the skewed nature of social networks where a few popular individuals are friends with many, thereby raising the average. Next, we delve into the cosmos with the Fermi paradox. Named after physicist Enrico Fermi, it questions the contradiction between the high probability of extraterrestrial life and the lack of contact or evidence for such civilizations. Where is everybody? That's the question at the heart of this paradox. Fourth on our list is the paradox of hedonism. This paradox suggests that pleasure cannot be acquired directly. It's often the byproduct of other activities. In other words, if you're trying too hard to be happy, you're doing it wrong. The best pleasures in life come when we least expect them. Last in this set, but certainly not the least, is the paradox of value, also known as the diamond water paradox. It questions why essential items like water are cheap, while non-essential items like diamonds are expensive. Although water is vital to life, its abundant availability diminishes its market value. On the other hand, diamonds are pricey because they are rare despite having no impact on survival. And there we have it. We've covered 20 paradoxes, let's keep going. Moving on, we have the paradox of memory. This quirky conundrum questions the reliability of our memories. If we remember something one way, but evidence suggests it happened differently, what's more accurate, our memory or the evidence? It's a paradox that challenges our understanding of reality and the trust we place in our own minds. Next, we delve into the paradox of self-amendment. A set of rules that allows for its own amendment can, in theory, amend itself out of existence. But if it does so, does it still exist? It's like a law that abolishes laws. Can it truly abolish itself or does it paradoxically remain a ghost of its former self? Then we encounter the Sleeping Beauty Paradox, a thought experiment that plays with probability and expectation. Here's the scenario. Sleeping Beauty volunteers for an experiment where she's put to sleep. While asleep, a fair coin is tossed. If it lands on heads, she's woken once, but if it lands on tails, she's woken twice. Each time she wakes, she doesn't remember the previous awakening. The paradox? When she wakes, what should her belief be about the coin's outcome? On to the fourth paradox of this segment, the paradox of Buridan's ass. Imagine a perfectly rational donkey placed exactly midway between two identical piles of hay. It can't decide which pile to eat from because there's no rational reason to choose one over the other. So, does it starve? This paradox highlights the pitfalls of indecision when faced with perfectly balanced choices. Finally, we have the paradox of the court. A man promises to pay another man if he wins his case. The twist? He's representing himself against the other man. So, if he wins, he has to pay, but if he loses, he doesn't. It's a paradox that playfully messes with our understanding of win-lose situations. 25 paradoxes down, only 20 to go. Next on our list is the paradox of Achilles and the tortoise. This is a classic, dating back to ancient Greece. The story goes that Achilles, the swift warrior, races a tortoise. But the tortoise has a small head start. Achilles runs much faster but every time he reaches where the tortoise was, the tortoise has moved a tiny bit further. Despite his speed it seems Achilles can never overtake the tortoise, how can that be? Then comes the paradox of free will. 
this one tackles the age-old question of destiny versus free will. If everything in the universe, including our thoughts and actions, follows the laws of physics, then is free will an illusion? Or does it exist in harmony with deterministic laws? It's a brain twister. Next up is the lottery paradox. Imagine a lottery with a million tickets. The chance of any one ticket winning is incredibly small, so it's safe to say, my ticket won't win. But if everyone thinks this, then how can there be a winner at all? It seems like a contradiction, doesn't it? Moving on to the paradox of the heap, also known as the Sorites paradox. If you have a heap of sand and you remove grains one by one, when does it stop being a heap? Is there a definitive point where a heap becomes a non-heap? It's a question that challenges our perception of vague terms. Finally, we have the Euthyphro dilemma. This one comes from philosophy of religion. Is what is morally good commanded by God because it is morally good or is it morally good because it is commanded by God? It's a paradox that explores the nature of morality and divine command. That's 30 paradoxes, only 15 more to go. Let's continue with the paradox of time travel. This paradox grapples with the concept of changing the past. If you could travel back in time and alter events, would the present still remain the same or would it create an alternate reality altogether? A mind-bending thought to ponder. Next up we have the Arrow Paradox, brought to us by the ancient Greek philosopher Zeno. He argued that for an arrow to move it must change the position which it occupies. But if it occupies a space equal to itself for every moment of time, when does the movement happen? Zeno suggests that motion as we understand it is an illusion. Then there's the paradox of the ravens. Simply put, if all ravens are black and you see a green apple, does that confirm that all ravens are black? After all, a green apple is not a black raven, so it doesn't contradict the statement, but it feels wrong to say it offers evidence, doesn't it? Moving on, we encounter the paradox of plurality. This paradox questions whether a thing can be both one and many at the same time. For instance, a minute is both one minute and 60 seconds simultaneously. It's a single entity made up of many parts, making it both a unit and a multitude. Lastly, let's delve into the paradox of fiction. It ponders over our emotional response to fictional characters and scenarios. Why do we feel genuine happiness, sadness, or fear for characters that we know don't exist? It's curious how our brain distinguishes between fiction and reality yet allows us to emotionally invest in both. Five more paradoxes unraveled, ten more to go. Next up, the paradox of knowledge. This paradox questions the essence of knowledge itself. Can we truly know anything? If we claim to know something, does that imply we can't be wrong about it? It's a conundrum that has kept philosophers busy for centuries. Moving along, we arrive at the predestination paradox. This mindbender deals with the concept of time travel. If a time traveler alters the past, it could influence the future in ways that prevent the time travel from happening in the first place. So, did the time travel really happen or not? Now let's dive into the paradox of determinism. This paradox is all about free will. If everything we do is predetermined, do we truly have free will? Or are our choices merely the result of cause and effect, stretching back to the dawn of time? Next on our list is the paradox of democracy. This paradox asks us to consider the potential downside of majority rule. If the majority decides something that's harmful, does that make it right? It's a paradox that questions the very foundation of democratic societies. And finally, we have the paradox of the ravenous rationalist. This paradox presents a situation where a rationalist, who only believes in what can be proven, is faced with a supernatural phenomenon. If the rationalist experiences something unexplainable, does he deny his experience, or does he deny his rationality? Wow, we've covered 40 paradoxes, only 5 left now. And finally we have the paradox of the courtroom. This mind-bending conundrum raises the question what happens when a judge, supposedly the beacon of truth and justice, lies in court. It leaves us pondering on the integrity of the judicial system and the elusive nature of truth. Next up is the paradox of the unexpected riches. Imagine you suddenly inherit a fortune from a distant relative you never knew. Sounds like a dream, right? But this paradox pushes us to consider the potential drawbacks of sudden wealth, such as the loss of motivation to work or the potential strain on relationships. Our 43rd paradox is the paradox of value judgments. This one highlights the subjective nature of value. What one person might deem invaluable, another might find worthless. It's a stark reminder of how our personal biases and perspectives shape our understanding of value. Moving on, we have the paradox of the preacher. 
This paradox points out the irony of a preacher who speaks of humility and simplicity, yet lives a life of luxury and abundance. It questions the authenticity of the preacher's message and the morality of such a lifestyle. Finally, we arrive at our last paradox, the paradox of the bald man. This paradox asks, how many hairs must a man lose before we consider him bald? Is it a hundred, a thousand, or perhaps just one? This paradox emphasizes the ambiguity of language and the subjective nature of categorization. And there you have it, folks. We've journeyed through the realm of the strange and curious uncovering 45 paradoxes that challenge our understanding of reality. Each one invites us to question our perceptions, reassess our beliefs, and delve deeper into the mysteries of life. And that's all 45 paradoxes. How many did you know before watching this video?